Hi, my name is Diana and I'm 33 years old. I am Mexican and I am currently living in Seoul, South Korea. I was recently diagnosed with um, esophageal cancer, stage 3. And um, even though that's not actually terminal, there are no many things that can be done about it except for trying to extend uh, the period of life and well I just I wanted to share my experience with other people because I thought there may be many other people going through the same things and you know usually when you are going through things like this you you reach out for something or for someone else and sometimes it helps out you know you find networks and connections or something that I don't know makes you feel better maybe so hopefully we can do something like that with this over here and also you know I would like to share not only my experience with cancer but my experience with cancer abroad because you know especially being so far from home I'm from Mexico City and living in South Korea it's very very hard uh, you know there's like the language barrier, the cultural differences and so many other things, you know, besides that you have to struggle with, besides the actual disease, so <clears throat> that's actually a lot to deal with and, you know, maybe some of you have already gone through something like that and can help and give me advice or tips or, you know, some words that might be useful or if you feel like you need them and I don't know if you can take anything from here that you find helpful then that would make me very happy as well uh, I don't even know exactly where to begin I'm sorry about how I look today is my first day after my very first chemo round and it has been a hard day I was actually discharged from the hospital today and I am now home so that does make me feel a little bit better but still you know I thought I honestly thought that after like the actual treatment was over I would get like about three weeks which is the period that I have uh, as a break before the next round to actually feel better to be normal you know to kind of live life but it turns out that they just told me today that the, uh, the side effects are gonna be present for the most part during this break time anyway so there won't be so much as a break time i don't know what what's gonna what's gonna happen you know but like right now i don't feel as bad as i as i felt like two hours ago so i wanted to take advantage and start this because <clears throat> because otherwise i won't get the courage to do it and i also feel like i need to let a lot of things out and you know this might be a, a better way for me because if i'm honest with you i don't know i don't know what's going on i'm really scared that i don't know what's going on with my body and inside my body you know it's so many changes and i have never ever felt this way like this bad you know i have felt bad and sick and all but never ever ever something like this and the thing is that I have lived cancer not only as a first person but also as a third person. This means that, you know, like three years ago I actually lost my mom to cancer, to kidney cancer. So I know how it is being on the other side and it's also really tough. And that's actually like the hardest subject for me because <coughs> after I lost my mom, I, you know, my family was not very, I don't know how to even explain this, but they were not the kind of people you would want to keep in your life after going something through something like that and after the way they behaved. So what my sister and I did was just kick them out of our lives and we decided to be just us, me and my younger sister. So we did that and ever since it's just the two of us and we came to Korea just the two of us two years ago you know to work and to give a shot to a new life and now here we are again in the same situation except now I am the one with cancer and my sister is in the very same situation that she was a few years ago 
and I'm really really sorry for her and we both knew this was coming honestly like at some point you know when you have like a someone sick with cancer in the family and especially your mom you do expect to get cancer at some point just not three years right after they pass away so this has been a bit of a shock and I don't I'm not even sure if it has already hit us you know at least not me I don't know I feel like I still need a lot of things to to process sorry about my voice but like I said I have esophageal cancer so you know it's obviously affecting my throat a lot <clears throat> I don't usually talk like this but well you know you do what you can do so yeah I guess I'm gonna try to to vlog about this first of all like I said to vent and rant about how I feel and you know things like that that I think people need to do because it's cathartic and <clears throat> second of all because I would like to to connect with people out there people who is sick or who has you know a member of their family or a friend that they love that they're sick and you know in case they have questions or I don't know advice or just any words that they would like to share then those words will be very welcome here so you can leave a, a comment down below and you know say anything that you feel like also if you have questions about how it is like being a foreigner abroad and having cancer and dealing with the work and insurance and all those things i'm gonna try to cover that a little further ahead but you know if you have any questions just let me know and I will try to get to that point anyway for now that is it I think this is like I said a very personal thing to do so I hope people don't take it the wrong way like if you don't like what you're watching then that's fine just watch away there are so many other videos on YouTube that you can go see and but that's it if you feel like this experience or this particular video or kind of video will help you or leave you something in your life then do watch and share and you know and if you're going through something similar like that I would very much like to hear your experience like build a communication port right there and well that is it for today again my name is Diana and I will hopefully see you soon in the next vlog thank you